It is cold and windy here today, which means one thing, I'm making mashed potatoes, but not just any mashed potatoes. Today's recipe is simple and easy to make, but the results are so good that people will demand to know how you made them. Are you ready? Because the kitchen is now open. Come on in, let's mash up something good. For the best mashed potatoes you've ever had, the ingredients I'll be using are three pounds of russet potatoes, a half a cup of half and half, four ounces or one stick of butter or margarine, one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt, half a teaspoon of white pepper, and two egg yolks. My first steps are to prepare, cook, and start mashing or whipping my potatoes. Then it'll be time to add the rest of the ingredients to make these really special. First, I peel my potatoes and then rinse them in the sink. Now, be sure to dispose of potato skins in the trash or composter, not in your garbage disposal, or you may be giving your plumber a call. Next, I cut my potatoes into half-inch cubes and put them into a large pot or Dutch oven with a lid. If your cube potatoes start to oxidize and turn pink, just give them a quick rinse and drain. Then, I cover my potatoes with cold water and head to the stove. I set my heat on high, cover and bring my pot to a boil. Once it's reached a boil, I uncover and reduce the heat to maintain a simmer and cook for about 15 minutes. My potatoes should now be tender and easy to smash with a fork. Then I turn off the heat and I head to the sink. I drain the potatoes in a colander, return them to the pot and set them to the side. Next, I'm gonna prepare and add the rest of my ingredients in a specific order. Now, please take note. This part is important because your potatoes could get ruined if you're not careful here. I cut my butter into the measuring cup with my half and half, and to keep it clean, I cover it with a double layer of plastic wrap. Then I heat them on high in the microwave for 30 seconds. Next, I separate my egg yolks and whites into separate bowls, being careful to be sure that no shell pieces, large or small, end up in my eggs. Now here's a tip, save your egg whites. They'll stretch your egg budget and you can whisk them up and add them to scrambled eggs or omelets to make them extra light and fluffy. Back at the stove with the heat still off, you can mash your potatoes in the pot with a potato masher, but I prefer to whip them with a handheld mixer. I start on low and increase the speed bit by bit until there are no big chunks of potato left. Next, I add my warmed half and half, butter, salt, and pepper and continue whipping my potatoes, starting on low and increasing the speed. Finally, while still mixing, I add the egg yolks to my potatoes and whip them in until fully combined and everything is smooth and fluffy. Serve these mashed potatoes as a side dish with butter, a main dish with meat and gravy on top, or use them to top off a beautiful shepherd's pie. They will bring your family to the dinner table where family is built, because if you feed them these, they will come. Oh man, that's good.